Hello Gemini, welcome to your general love reading for the month of October. This is going to be for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And because this is a Gemini general reading, not everything that I pick up energy-wise today will resonate with each and every one of you. And if it does resonate with you guys, Gemini do have personal reading options available at this time, including Lover Special starting at $33.33. I will leave my email in the description box below this video if you guys do wish to contact me for a private personal reading in a video format just like this as you're seeing right now and read into your personal situation now please take what resonates for you leave the rest that doesn't resonate for you to somebody else who does need to hear it at this time as what we're going to look at today gemini is what's coming towards you guys what is it that you need to know about your partner right now? This person can be somebody from the past. This person can be someone who you recently started talking to and hoping to get to know better. This person can be someone you've dealt with for many months, many years. And you're at this point where you do not know what to do about this person, okay? I'm asking Spirit to show me the energies of those who you are energetically, romantically, or spiritually linked to, to have their energies pop up in your reading today so we can take a look at what's going on right now, what's in their thoughts, what are some of the wanted and unwanted things that you want out of this connection, and some of the things that could be of its influence right now because we are doing this reading in Mercury retrograde. Mercury is actually going in retrograde starting today, October 13th through November 3rd. So what that means is because it is going retrograde in the sign of Scorpio and it won't go direct until I think November 27th and as it does that it's going to go move into the sign of Libra. At the same time Venus also goes into Libra. This means it's going to influence a lot of incoming and outgoing energies in terms of our relationships, karma, transformation, and change. Okay, So some of these Four heavy energetic influences may be affecting you and your person right now, but we're going to go ahead and see what that means to Gemini, okay? How does this Mercury retrograde, how is this Mercury retrograde going to affect those with Gemini in their chart? And what is it that you need to know about your person at this time? Has the Mercury retrograde changed anything in terms of this connection or this dynamic between the two of you? Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> I just asked a question and I got it right away, Gemini. Yeah, sudden changes. Eight of Wands. <clears throat> okay, Spirit saying, yeah. Okay, and that's what we're about to look into right now. Eight of Wands talks about fast delivery. It talks about movement speed. Lightning speed is what I'm seeing here, to tell you the truth. So, yeah, things that were once stagnant or has been seemingly going nowhere is suddenly about to change for you. Let's see what's going on. What does this mean? Okay. Wow. Spirit's coming through and telling me yes right away. For some of you guys, that's, I mean, that was probably what you had. It was one of your questions here. Okay. So I'm going to look at your, Gemini, look at that. I don't know what's going on. Yes, for Gemini. Lover's card. In terms of your relationship, something's about to change. Oh, wow. Wow. I did mention Scorpio, didn't I? It is actually going in retrograde in the sign of Scorpio right now. Your person's having a sudden change of heart, and it's going fast. Wow, look at this. Gemini, we have the Lovers, Empress, and Death, followed by the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. What happened in the past here, we have three major arcanas, and here you guys are, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This does talk about your energy. You could be dealing with another Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, male or female, or you may have a strong in your chart, or they do. Okay, an air sign may mean something to you, they may not. I'm going to take a look here. Something that happened between you and this person, you found the one, okay? You came into connection with your person, but what happened here with the death card? 
And why they came out with the death card was the five of wands and the ten of pentacles. <clears throat> Gemini, somebody's realizing here that they want this relationship to work. What you both see from this, what came out of this situation, what you both saw from this connection was that there was potential for growth. There are many lessons and obstacles and challenges standing in the way, of course, but it wasn't that it was going to be impossible. Some of you guys may have felt that in that case, in your personal situation, that it was impossible because of what your partner was dealing with at the time. You couldn't really allow it or make sense of it anymore. For some of you guys, you really did throw in the towel and said, you know what, this is no longer suitable for me. This is no longer something I want to deal with and I'm, it's best for me to move on and maybe give somebody else <clears throat> my time and my affection and my energy because Gemini, you were one foot in, one foot out. At the same time, you really wanted this. And I feel like it was because of somebody's instability or their lack of decision making here when it comes to you you guys were constantly arguing or constantly arguing about the same thing there was just something you guys could not move past i'm feeling here with the five of wands and why they ended up calling things off was just because what they were secretly hiding or what they were emotionally processing at this time was you were not going to change your mind on something and you were not going to allow something to happen and this was maybe against you or you wanted something okay you believed you it was fine i'm feeling here gemini you're like well it's your loss, dude. Boy, bye. You know, girl, bye. Whatever. Um, I don't feel like you really gave it that much of an argument or a fight. You did. You really did. Um, you would do anything and give your all for this person, but for some reason you started retracting it. Now, this person here, I feel like with the Five of Wands and Death right here, <clears throat> they were tired of the arguments. They were tired of feeling competition. For some of you, that's what they were tired of that they almost found themselves competing with others competing for your attention jealousy was start slowly starting to grow here and what became of the situation why they decided to call something off was because of this conflicts with other people now this was also influenced by external environment meaning others in their environment okay in their immediate surrounding this could have had something to do with family influence. This could have something to do with the fact that they had prior engagements or arrangements already made to something or someone else. And that's what happened here. But both of you guys with the Empress, oh my goodness. Oh, King of Wands. Both of you guys with the Empress, your person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They may mean something to you. They may not. You may have it in your chart or this person does. The Empress talks about new beginnings. Talks about going after something and hoping it will grow. It's a very fertile new beginning. You know, the possibility of something to happen was limited. It was unlimited. It was limitless. It was... It was bountiful. It was gorgeous. It was def starting to develop. Whatever the thing that you two had felt like it was one of a kind kind of feeling. Okay, Gemini, and I'm seeing here with the lovers and the two cups, you felt exactly the same way about your person. You know, I feel like even for some of you who may have been single for a while, you met this person on a whirlwind. You kind of didn't even know where this person came from. All of a sudden, your feelings started to grow and developing really fast. You pray to the universe for somebody like just like this person, and somehow the universe delivered and gave you somebody who completely checked off your list. Not only were they fine, were they beautiful, they gorgeous, practical, smart, intelligent, can keep a conversation, keep things interesting with you. They thought like you. They were interesting. Also put you on the edge a little bit. Always was always making you feel like you, you know, kind of at the end of your feet, at the end, end of the edge. You just catch you on your toes and you like that, okay? Gemini, you guys are an air sign. You guys like to converse. You guys like to talk about all these different things. 
And the fact that this person kind of gave you a chase, I'm going to say, you guys can't, you guys cannot deny it. You guys liked it. You guys liked this person because they were a little bit, felt like they were a little bit out of your, out of reach. You know, it kind of gave you like this little hunt. And yeah, it's because they came out as a fire sign. Who wouldn't want this person? Everybody's after this person. Everybody's trying to look for a commitment from this person, he or she. This person's fiercely independent. Nobody can lock them down. So many people have tried and so many others have failed. You saw this person for the way they are. You like the fact that they just have this confidence. They just ooze this confidence and their independence. Something about this person was just, oh, everything about this person you liked. But for some reason, you're going to clarify that five of ones. Something happened here. Okay, you two got into an argument, got into a fight about something. You may have expressed something to them and they felt very indifferent about it and that's kind of where things ended okay i'm seeing it did end if there are communications right now there could be little to none on my i'm actually getting separation here we have hierophant and the six of swords so with the tower something happened some of you guys were actually married to this person some of you guys actually um was engaged okay some of you guys were in a maybe long distance or the relationship was growing, okay? Um, relationship status really holds no value in today's reading, but I just want to tell you. The Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant, let's talk about somebody wanting a commitment, somebody wanting somebody to be exclusive, somebody, you know, really hoping to take that traditional route, hoping to get themselves out of something or out of you know, finish their thing with something or someone. But this person with the death card came out with the six of swords reversed. They felt stuck. They felt like they couldn't. And whatever it was that they were doing, they actually took the easy way out of the situation. They saw this relationship too much of a challenge. Though with the ten of pentacles, you know, the way they felt for you, Gemini, with the king of wands and the ten of pentacles, Man, they saw you as jackpot. I'm going to tell you guys that, okay? <clears throat> they saw you as there's so much going on for you. They loved everything that they saw about you. Some of you, they have literally told you. Like, you could have anybody in the world. Like, you are a catch. There are so many things going for you. And some of them were in huge denial of the fact that you were even remotely interested in them or had even given any time of day to them. Because the way the two of you started with the lovers and the eight of wands, this happened quick. This happened lightning fast. I feel like the first thing that happened was the physical attraction. First of anything, it was more about this charismatic um, meetup, right? It was full of compassion. It was full of warmth. You guys were had a genuine concern for the other. You felt that about your person too. You felt like this person was completely guided by instinct. You know, this person was completely in love with life itself. You kind of knew that. And this person's feisty spunk. Ensure that whatever the, I mean, I'm getting your person's really motivated. Whatever they set their mind to, they usually accomplish. And you kind of stood in the way of that, Gemini. That's kind of what happened. Okay. Um, you know, you, you want, they wanted you, you wanted them. Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands. What they liked about you was that you were unlike any other any other type, any other people, anybody else. There's something very unique about you. You were independent. You didn't rely on other people. You didn't you weren't fake. Okay, a lot of people think Geminis are fake. You were very straightforward with what you wanted. And you teased them quite a bit sometimes. You even said no, even turned this person down. For some of you, they felt a little bit rejected by something. But no, the actual issue here with the Five of Wands and the Six of Swords reverse, I'm getting here, they were dealing with something, okay, that they didn't want you to come in the way of them obtaining that certain goal. So what is, what is, um, 
could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. They have many strong Taurus in their chart, Scorpio, Libra, another Gemini. You felt the two cups. You, even if you didn't admit it, even if you didn't let this person know, because Geminis can be a little bit like that. Okay, they'll hide their feelings. They flirt with words rather than actions, right? Um, it's usually how air signs are. But Gemini mostly. You guys were constant mental stimulation for the other, you know, and the fact that you guys were completely obsessed with each other's physique. I don't know why I'm getting. Both you guys are hot, Gemini. They, they saw you as a dime. They saw you as a catch. They... They definitely was um, very, very, very physically attracted to you, okay? They were willing to give up something here, but at the end of the day, something happened. You guys got into an argument, got into a fight where they had conflicts with others concerning you, and then it ended. So what is this um, Mercury retrograde bringing back here, okay? What is returning... Was Mercury retrograde returning for the sign of Gemini in terms of the situation? What is changing about all of this that Gemini needs to know about? <clears throat> okay, Gemini. We have the Ten of Cups, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Fool, we have the Four of Wands, and then we have the Three of Swords. This person is going to try to make a second attempt at saving this relationship or offering a commitment. I'm seeing your person, this could be you, this could be them, someone's not giving up. I'm seeing Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Four of Wands. This screams marriage to me, Gemini. Um, very likely what's changing in your relationship is that it's going to a higher level of commitment. What your person's realizing right now, they don't just want to date you. They want to marry you. They don't just want to date you casually. They want to take you out on a serious date. They don't want to be in isolation from you anymore. They don't want to be all up in their heads and keep thinking about this situation and feeling all, you know, stuck and worried about something. They want to just actually step out of it snap out of it, contact you, communicate with you, and let you know what it is that's truly bothering them, okay? Now, this may come out of nowhere to you. It may seemingly come out of nowhere to you. You'd be like, what? I thought you said you just wanted to be friends. I thought you didn't have any feelings. What are you talking about here? And this person's like, yeah, you know, you know, just play along with me. Just go along with it. It's what I want, Gemini. It's what I want. But, you know, it may be a little bit too late where you guys may have a very troublesome, burdensome issue to deal with because there may be somebody else involved now, okay? I'm seeing someone's going to have to drop somebody to make this decision and be your unique, strange couple and live in this mansion together in this... Uh, as you guys can see, this is really fitting for Halloween. The Adams family, you two are unique, one of a kind, two peas in a pod kind of person. You guys belong together. I am getting here. You guys belong together. You guys know it. You guys just make a perfect couple. This is just, you guys are unique souls and totally compatible with one another. And there's so much love here that most other people wouldn't understand. But who needs to understand your relationship? You understand it very well, and they do. And that's all that matters here. Somebody here is going to want to tell you, Hey, Gemini, I, I want this. I really want this. And you just, like I said, it may catch you a little bit off guard because you're like, what are you talking about? Why are you contacting me right now? Why are you coming with this? You know, it's like... I'm seeing here you're a little hesitant here because you maybe think see they are like the king or king queen or king of wands that you can't take this person's offer seriously, right? Is it that they just want to, you know, is this is there uh, ulterior intentions or motives behind it? Is it just for sex? Is this is it just games? Are they trying to play mouse and you know cat and mouse again with you? No, I'm saying they want a real beginning. Someone's having 
like some sort of epiphany here that they're willing to take a leap of faith with you. And what they want is commitment. They want to form a strong, stable union with you. This is the beginning stages of developing into something very concrete and secure. Whatever your relationship status is seemingly with your person right now. Wow, Gemini. Congratulations. I'm so excited for you guys. <clears throat> This is awesome, okay? We have the we have the higher fent. We have the ten of pentacles. And we have the ten of cups. Now the issues needing to address, of course, is, <clears throat> let's not get carried away here. We still have two things, but these are the only things that I'm seeing here. That's but seeing spirit saying is about to bring some lightning speed of change here. Okay. Because you two are, I mean, there's a second chance or a reconciliation coming up and to fix something which was lost or broken. They've been actually trying to move on from you. I'm going to tell you guys. They had actually moved on. And like I said, I saw the death card here. Someone put an ending to it. If it's not you, it's them. Someone actually tried to move away and may have been gone for several weeks, six months, six years, half of that or more. Okay. And I'm seeing here that are like, I just, I can't be without my Gemini. I think I want my Gemini. Yeah, this is the Gemini one. <clears throat> yeah, they want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with you, Gemini. They want to tell you something that they were very uneasy and afraid to tell you before. Feel free to reach out, Gemini. I do offer personal readings right now. There is deception here going on that they, I mean, what they said to you is a lie. What they have to tell you now is the truth that they're struggling with. Okay. If you want a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Like I said, I do have a lover special being offered right now for $33.33. We can get you reserved, have your reservations made for a private personal reading for a lover special, full reading or emergency reading option. You'll have to email me. You'll find my email in the description box below this video. Spirit, tell me about this heart-to-heart -heart conversations for Gemini. Let's take a quick sneak peek. I'm going to close up your ending, I mean, close up your reading here for Gemini. They're waiting. They're watching. They're at a distance from you. Somebody here could be in a different city, state, or country. <clears throat> well, something's changing for sure. They don't want to just be your friend. They don't want this, like, awkwardness that the two of you have. If you guys just started as friends, only continued as friends, or have only stayed in each other's life as friends, they don't want that. They, they feel something more with you. They honestly want to discuss their feelings with you, but they're afraid to come forward with it. Oh, wow, Gemini. Tell me about this King of Wands, Higher Fit, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is what I'm seeing, okay? They're trying to find the strength to do it, overcome it. They feel like it's a burden right now. They feel like it's just heavy load that they're carrying right now not being able to fully express to you what's clearly on their mind but deep down what they want is you Gemini they haven't said it they haven't honestly discussed how they felt towards you all right Gemini feel free to reach out if you need a personal reading okay we can read into you and your person's feelings into a video just like this if you guys seen but read for you personally based on your personal situation as this is a general reading gemini i will see you guys very soon thank you guys for your time i really enjoyed your reading and i'll see you guys later bye guys